Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial here at Roaring Records. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We want to talk about using Logic Pro to be able to record from a microphone today. And there are a few key pieces of things that you might need in order to be able to record with a microphone. One of those would be a nice microphone. This is a Shure SM58 with a switch. It is a dynamic microphone, a very standard piece of equipment for use in studios and live performance. And this is an XLR cable. And it has a male end and a female end. Um, so you can connect the female end to the microphone and the male end to your audio interface simply by lining up the pins Three pins down, three slots down, in till a click. And then you have the microphone connection that you need. Make sure the switch is turned on. Um, and then you'll plug this end into your audio interface. Again, three pins pointed down, slide in until you have a nice firm uh, connection with the box. But let me actually talk about this box just a second. What is it? This is an audio interface. This particular one is a PreSonus Audio Box USB. You can find all your gear that you need at Sweetwater.com, Sweetwater Sound in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They're amazing. Best customer service in the business. Uh, call my boy Justin Kessler up there, and he'll get you hooked up with whatever you need. But uh, this interface allows you to put microphones that are studio quality XLR, XLR style microphones into the front of the interface. Um, it will convert that to digital signal for use in the computer. It will also output out the back to speakers or headphones as you need. Um, you have the options over here to control speakers and headphone volume independently to bend, blend playback versus uh, zero latency monitoring on this knob. So depending on if that's something you need or not. And then finally, you have the preamps, which are right here and controlled by these two gain knobs right here. And that is where your microphone, or in this case, it's a combo jack. You can plug your guitar straight in the center, but that is where um, the instrument or microphone is going to be placed. And then you will connect this to your computer via USB. So once you have done that and your audio interface is connected, you've installed any new drivers, if it's a brand new thing that you're doing and everything seems to be working, then you're gonna come in here to Logic. You're gonna click on Logic Pro, come to Preferences and Audio. And for the input device, it needs to say, the interface you're using right now with this microphone i am using the audient id 14 as my interface and i've got uh, multiple output devices working so that you can hear what i'm doing on this youtube video but if you're using your interface as your headphones then both the input and output should say interface so once you're done with that you want to hit the plus button right here because you are going to add an audio track Make sure that the input here matches where you have the microphone plugged in your audio interface. Mine only has two inputs and I'm currently plugged into input one. So I'm going to say create and lo and behold, you are now hearing me through Logic Pro. You can see that it has made an audio channel. There is signal pumping. Uh, you generally want your level to be somewhere in this range that's going to turn green to yellow. Give yourself enough headroom to do stuff with it uh, after you've processed it. And then you can turn the ability to hear yourself on or off by using this I button right here, which stands for monitoring. So you're actually hearing yourself right now. You are hearing me if I turn this off then you're not able to hear me, so I have to leave it on to be able to make this video. Um, in order to then record, as long as you are hearing yourself and you have the gain level set correctly, and you say, what if this yellow or this green bar wasn't hitting high enough? Well, that's when you use your uh, gain knobs here. If it's too low, turn up the gain knob. If it's too high, 
then turn down the gain knob until you have about a full green bar worth of volume coming in right there. And that's going to be a useful volume for you. So just leave it uh, at that spot and you should be good to go. Um, then when you are done, set the microphone or the playhead to where you want to start recording. Uh, when you hit record, you're actually going to have a one, two, three, four count in if this is lit. And that will tell you that you're about to start recording. So it goes something like this. Sitting here at Roaring Records, making those YouTube videos, trying to act like a creator and uh, share some ideas to the world. So there we go. We were able to record a little bit of our audio right there. And I'm going to take my loop region and shorten it just a little bit so we're only hearing this bit of recorded audio. And you can play back and hear it. Sitting here at Roaring Records, making those YouTube videos, trying to act like a creator and uh, share some ideas to the world. Okay, so you hear that that actual audio is there. If you need to go in and erase something, then you certainly can get in there, select it and erase it. If you need to move it left or right, you can do that, but you see that it is actual audio waves here which means you can use your loop or your sound library over here to apply different patches. You might want your uh, patch to sound like a narration vocal to give a little bit different sound or a telephone vocal to make it sound like you're talking on the telephone. Or maybe you want to go really weird and have something like a helium vocal or a robot vocal. But in general, you probably just want something fairly standard to be able to talk through. And that is now applying that to playback as well. So uh, this is kind of what that feels like now. Sitting here at Roaring Records, making those YouTube videos, trying to act like a creator and uh, share some ideas to the world a good way to change up your sound off the bat. So that has covered how you would use a microphone uh, to set it up and be able to manipulate the audio that you record as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free, like, and subscribe.